Uh, chapter number 14 uh, exponentials uh, and logarithms so first of all uh, we'll discuss what is exponential um, if i write y equal to to the power x uh, or y equal x square and y equal to to the power x so what you can see what is the difference so both are functions now here you can see that y equal variable and a constant is power but here you can see constant and a variable is the power so this is uh, uh, well, this is very familiar graph for us y equal x square so the exponentials mean if you see that in this form y equal 2 to the power x constant and a variable on top variable as a power constant is the base variable is the power another one y equal 3 to the power x or y equal uh, 3 2 x what is happening here y equal uh, 3 times 2 i can write x so what is 3 2 x mean actually it is 9 x still a constant so if i write y equal a to the power x if you see this form then this is a exponential uh, function exponential function and this a has to be if i talk the number line so i said this is a constant okay then uh, 0 1 and greater than 1 And less than zero now this a value has to be uh, always a greater than or equal to uh, greater than uh, zero if i rewrite again what is the exponential function Uh, exponential function it has this form y equal uh, a x form and a is a positive constant it mean a can't be uh, can't be negative a has to be greater than zero what will happen if a equals zero then y equals zero x equal y equals zero there is no exponent term exist now then uh, there are three a values we want to discuss one is a is in between 0 and 1 other one is a equal 1 and other one is a greater than uh, 1 so I break this uh, from here to here a 0 to 1 1 and a equal 1 and a greater than 1 now First of all, I like to draw a graph from this a greater than 1 type. So this is basically y equal 2 to the power x. Can you look at this a value? What is a value? 2. Is it greater than 1? Yes. So in here 2, in this area. So we'll draw this graph first. 
I'll write uh, fx and a greater than 0 a is a positive function bracket a greater than 0 so we are going to discuss in between these range the graph like 0 greater than a greater than 1 in between 0 and 1 and then what will happen a equal 1 and uh, 1 greater than a So from the number line, uh, this is 0 to 1, so this is the first one, and then this is the second one, A equal 1, and this is the third one, uh, greater than this area. So this is the third one. Now, first of all, fx equal ax uh, I will take a equal to so it is in this area a greater than uh, in this interval a equal to so fx equal 2 to the power x now how do we do the, this graph it is as normal as the year 8 9 knowledge to draw a graph we need some x values and fx mean y values so to draw a graph x and fx we take some x values and uh, we plot in the graph so assume that x value is uh, uh, minus 3 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1, 1, 2, 3. So, from the number line, I took, okay. So, this is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, x axis 1, 2, 3, and this is y. So we'll find the coordinate as usual. Now, when x equal y o f x. Okay, I will take y. So this is more friendly version y equal 2 to the power x. Okay, we'll find when x equal, when x equal minus 3 y equal 2 to the power x, it means y equal 2 to the power minus 3. For 2 to the power minus 3, you will write 2 to the power 3, which is one, 2 to the power 3 is 1 over 8. 1 over 8. So what is the coordinate now? Minus 3, 1 over 8. The other one, when x equal minus 2, y equal 2 to the power minus 2, y equal 1 over 2 square which is 1 over 4 so this is 1 over 4 then this is going to be coordinate is minus 2 1 over 4 okay we'll draw this one minus 3 1 over 8 point somewhere here then minus 2 1 over 4 somewhere here and then minus 1 when x equal minus 1 y equal 2 to the power minus 1 y equal half so i'll start here here so y equal half and uh, i missed out 0 0 1 2 3 now when x equal 0, y equal 2 to the power 0. y equal 2 to the power 0. Which only power 0 is 1. So this is going to be 0, 1. And this is uh, going to be half. This is 1. And when it is 1, 2 to the power 1 is 1. Then 
when x equal to 2 square is 4, when x equal 3, 2 to the power 3 is 8. So those are the coordinates now. So then we can draw this graph. Now you can see that uh, this page uh, 312, you can see this graph, the one I draw, it is on the page uh, 312. Now I selected that A value from this area. So if you take 3x or 4x, they all have the same shape, but with the different, we'll discuss this one. Uh, gradients. Now let's consider when a equal 1 what will happen. So fx equal uh, yeah. when x equal a equal 1 a equal 1. So I will write uh, fx equal a equal 1, 1 to the power x graph. Or I will write y equal y to the power 1 x. So we will work with 1 x. We will draw this graph now. x value minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. And uh, y value, okay. When x equal minus 3, graph is y equal 1 to the power x. So y equal 1 to the power minus 3. It means 1 over 1 to the power 3. It means 1 over 1 is 1. Right? So what is this coordinate now? Minus 3 and 1. 1, 2, 3 minus 1, 2, 3, positive x and y. So now this is minus 3, 1. Then when x equal minus 2, y equal 1 to the power minus 2, which is 1 over 1 square, 1 over 1 is 1. So then minus 2 also 1. Then minus 1. When y equal minus 1, y equal minus 1 to the power minus 1. 1 over 1 is 1. So that is going to be minus 1, 1. When y e, uh, sorry, x, x equal uh, 0. Then fx equal 1 to the power 0. 1 to the power 0 also 1. So that is going to be 0, 1. Now, when uh, when y equal y e x equal 1 then y equal 1 to the power 1 also 1. So that is 1, 1. And likewise when x equal to 2, 1 and 3, 1. So this is a uh, line. So y equal 1 to the power x graph is a line. What is this line? y equal 1 line. In other way, for any x value, y value is 1. For any x values, y is always 1. See the height? 1. Now we'll take from the first interval. So what is this interval? 0, a, a greater than 1. Any value less than 1, but it has to be greater than 0. So I want to put here any value less than 1 and we if I take a equal half, do you think it's okay? 
yes a half is in between 0 and 1 so I can write y equal half x now again I can draw a graph uh, this is x value and y minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 uh, this is going to be when x equal minus 3 y equal half minus 3 right. so we can write this is 2 over 1 3 so I show you how I did it so this is 1 over half minus 3 so this is going to be 1 minus 3 this is 2 minus 3 this is 1 over 1 3 this top and this one is this and this is going to be 1 over 2 3 then this is become 1 over 1 3 multiplied by 1 over 2 3 which is uh, 2 3 over 1 3 which is 2 over 1 3 So it means 2, 3, this is going to be 8. When x equal minus 2, y equal half minus 2. It means 2 over 1, 2, it means 4. And this is going to be 1. Okay, let me do it, uh, not 1. When x equal minus 1, y equal half a minus 1. It means 2 over 1, 1, that is 2. Now, when x equal 0, y equal half a 0. Any 0 value is 1. Now, when sorry uh, yeah why when x equal zero now when x x equal one half one is half this is um, half a square mean one over four half a square mean one over four and one Half a cube mean 1 over 8. So you will get a, this kind of graph. So 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. This is all negative. When it is minus 3, this is 8. When it is minus 2, this is 4. This is 2 and this is 1. And likewise. So you will get uh, this kind of graph x and y. Now I discuss from uh, I said a has to be greater than zero. Then uh, I break that area in number line two into three. One is in between zero and one, and I draw a graph with one example. Then I draw a equal one already it is a line and then uh, greater than 1 that is 2x now um, my next question is can you draw uh, okay y equal 2 minus x graph Okay, now y equal 2, can I write this is minus 1 times x, still 2 minus x. Then, can I write 2 minus 1 over x. Is this this one? 
yes then y equal half a x graph also you may see as what y equal 2 to the power minus x so you should have that um, sense when you look at the sum y equal half x is same as y equal same as 2 to the power minus x can you generalize this one now if i generalize this one if we have uh, 1 over b to the power x then this is same as b minus x b is a positive value b is a positive constant so i discussed now already so i said that exponentials so this is the form of exponential uh, functions this is the form of exponential a is positive uh, constant and there are three types of graph uh, we can depend on the a value if a is 0 to 1 you will get this kind of graph so I draw y equal half a x graph or same as so you can see you can rewrite half x you can write differently 2 to the power minus x same graph and the second one a equal 1 it is just a line and the third one uh, anything greater than 1 a value greater than 1 so then it will uh, so if I, so this is 0, 1 and greater than 1. So this is any value of uh, point, point 0.75, point 0.999, whatever values. And this is 1 and this is greater than 1 mean 1.001, 1 1.2, 1 10,000, billions so any value so this is the shape now I select this one y equal 2 to the power x y equal 3 to the power x y equal 4 to the power minus x y equal um, 1 x y equal uh, 3700 uh, minus x now can you tell me that the those graph in which area yes when you look at this one 2 2 mean greater than 1 so you will should have this kind of graph this is 3 in which area in here so you will get this kind of graph uh, and this is 4 uh, now when you look at and tell that this is this kind of graph you are wrong then you have to be come differently so you want to think this is 1 over 4 x 4 to the power minus minus x mean 4 minus 1 x which is 1 over 4 x so then the graph type is this one. So you have to be careful when they have negative. Though when you look at it straight away, it, it's illusion. You can see that 4 is positive. I should be here, which is not. Because this is minus. The power minus. 
right so this is y equal 1 x this type and this is when you look at 3700 diacid positive this form this is going to be y equal 3700 uh, to the power minus 1 times x so it means 1 over 3700 x so it is in between this area this type of graph so the graph types depend on the a but don't just simply look at those values just careful with the value the um, variable um, power symbol uh, with the negative or positive now one more thing you can see all the graph is going through 0 1 point so that is a speciality about this exponential function when x equals 0 y equal a 0 is 1 now can you see that this 1 depend on a no so it can be any any curve but uh, that all the curves go to 0 1 point when x equals 0 y equal 1 so 0 1 point is a point you can't avoid in exponential only possibility is if we have y equal minus ax then everything become uh, the other way around so you are making positive to negative so basically the graph is going to be in that case uh, mirror reflection of a then this is 0 minus 1 so this one and like this 0 minus 1 so this is also exponential but uh, yeah so we don't discuss this one we don't need we are not working on it for this is for your knowledge so in general 0 1 point you can't avoid in exponential now you can see now I'm going to explain uh, another another feature of this graph and this one y equal 2x y equal 3 to the power x y equal uh, 4 to the power x so when you draw this graph y equal 2 to the power x this kind of graph then y equal 3 to the power x starting from below bit and definitely go through 0 1 it is a compulsory point in the exponential and going up y equal 3 to the power x and y equal 4 to the power x Now what is your observation? If you take a one x value, let's say x equal five, you can see that for same value, this y height is increasing. Why why this y height is increasing? Because two, three, four, this value is increasing. It means in other way, when a is increasing. In this third interval or the this interval 
I will leave this one for a while. So I will consider this one first. So in this interval, when uh, 2, 3, 4, the A value is increasing, the graph steepness is increasing. For example, if I ask you to do 100x and y equal 1000x, how do you do? So then you know that this is more steeper. So this is y equal 100x and this is going to be y equal 1000x. In this interval, you can forget if you, it is confusing. Both graphs are the same graph. If you come to in this way, then the graph is steepens is increasing when the number is increasing 2, 3, 2 to the power minus x, 3 to the power minus x, 4 to the power minus x. You can see that if it is in this form, yes, graph is steepness, but this is positive and this is negative. So gradient is this is positive and this is gradient is this is zero and this is negative. However, negative is steepness, so that is steepness is increasing. 2, 3, 4 in if it is this form. Or if you want to write in this form, 1 over 2, 1 over 2, or this value is, when it's decreasing, the graph is increasing. For example, uh, 1 over 2 or 1 over 3 is smaller. So 1 over 3 is smaller. So this is more steeper. So oh, this is come as 3 to the power minus x. This is uh, 2 to the power minus x. And then if you want to discuss in this interval, in the, if this form, it means the variable is negative, then the uh, 2, 3, 4, likewise, the number is, in, when number is increasing, the steepness is increasing, or if you want to discuss in this form, now here you can see that uh, this is positive, positive uh, a variable is positive form, x is positive. So then the value has to be decreasing, the same thing, because half a equal what? 2 to the power minus 1, 1 third equal 3 to the power minus 1. Then when you have this knowledge, then the chapter 4 knowledge will appear here, fx equal a to the power x. Then what will happen if x plus 1, then a to the power x plus 1. It means this is a x times a. So this is a, a x graph. So if it is x minus 1, a x minus 1. So, A x A minus 1. It means A x 1 over A. It means this is 1 over A, A x graph. And sometimes F x equal A x plus 1. It means shift up by 1. F x equal A x. Take A x graph and shift down by 1. So then we will discuss later just to give a small approach to that area. Um, yes, we will go to now exercise 14a. You can read uh, example 1 on that chapter and example 2. Example 2 I can see uh, something like this. Uh, y equal half x minus 1 so y equal uh, half x times half a minus 1 so we know that half x times 2 over plus 1 I sub this one it means this is 2 times half x 2 times, if you want, you can write 2 minus 
2 minus x. Half x we can write as what? 2 minus x. Another way of going to this direction. Y equal 2 half I write 2 to the power minus 1. Times x minus 1. Then 2 to the power minus times 1 times x minus 1. So 2 to the power minus x plus 1. Right? It means 2 to the power minus x times 2 to the power 1. So this is 2, 2 minus x. 2 times. 